Can we have a font review stream? I was supposed to do that, wasn't I? I'll do a font tier list of all the fonts that I have. <laughs> but I like most of the fonts I have, because I mean, I bought them. Unless they were bought in a bundle, in which case maybe I don't like them. But I didn't install all of them. Oh yeah, I guess we can do some default fonts too. <laughs> Times New Roman. Man, Times New Roman is like... That was my go-to in school. You know, some people switched over to Calibri for school assignments, but I was always a Times New Roman purist. <laughs> I even for a long time, I kind of stopped doing it now because of laziness, but for a long time I was writing my scripts in Times New Roman 12 point font. <laughs> Double spaced, one inch margins, just because it seems like the right thing to do, you know. <laughs> you didn't even know people cared about fonts? They do. You gotta be careful what fonts you use for your resume. And I say fonts plural because sometimes you do want to have multiple fonts on your resume. <laughs> you can also look up resume template online and just copy that. <laughs> why? I mean, there's no good reason for why people should care about fonts. It's just because people care about appearances in general. And certain fonts are viewed as more professional than other fonts. It's like why you wouldn't show up to a job interview wearing, like, flip-flops and a t-shirt. Well, maybe you could for some jobs, but I still wouldn't recommend it, even for, for any job, really. You gotta dress to impress, you know. You can never be overdressed for a job interview, for the most part. <laughs> Lifeguard interview? Maybe. I don't... 